Hi everyone, welcome to Ansible Tower Learning Series 1 and 2 Continuous. This is the ninth video on Ansible Tower Learning Series. In this video, we will see what is Netbox, how we can use Netbox as an inventory source for Ansible playbooks, how we can do filtering in Netbox inventory using multiple attributes. Netbox is an open source freely available tool which can be used as source of truth for your infra infrastructure data. Source of truth means you can consider this as your authoritative system for the complete infrastructure data. In that case, all the other system should dynamically pull data from your source of truth server. You can always update or get latest infrastructure data from source of truth server. For example, you can run playbook to update information in netbox or you can have api to update data we will see those how we can do the api update and all and similar way you can even get data from netbox using playbook or apis we have all these informations in netbox which can be either added manually or using apis or playbooks here under organization we have sites then regions site groups locations and you can add even the rack information then under devices we can add the devices these two devices i have added using playbook and if you click on these devices we can see the interfaces these added using playbooks and it was able to detect all the interfaces and add it automatically we will see how to do that then all the port details you can add here and then we have connections in connections you can even map your physical connection details under IPAM you can add all the IP addresses then VRF route target details VLANs then virtual circuit details then the power details everything can be added in netbox this can be either updated using the manual api or playbooks if you want to see the api details you can click on rust api and here we can see some of the api details click on dcim and we'll see how we can get the devices so here it shows the sample output and if you want the api documentation click on netbox api documentation and we can see the swagger here and let us search for devices here and all these tags and filters we can use for getting the details from netbox similar way you can even do the other methods like post put patch all these methods are supported here and to configure the api key you need to click on admin profile and settings and api token here we can have multiple api tokens and using these api tokens we can communicate to netbox and get the details now in ansible there are modules available for communicating with netbox so here in ansible galaxy we can search for netbox If you click on netbox we can see the command to install netbox but in my ansible it was available by default so we can verify that i'll open a terminal here so first we'll see how to run it from local ansible 
like the ansible installed in my ubuntu machine then we will have a look into how we can use it from ansible tower so here the command is ansible galaxy collection list And here I have netbox already installed and using this module I'll be able to execute all the actions from Ansible playbooks. We will see those in detail but now we'll see some API details. To get uh, details from netbox either we can use standard APIs or we can use netbox module first we will have a look into how we can use standard apis here inside netbox folder i have some playbooks here this playbook uses standard uri module so this is the documentation of uri module and builds built-in uri module and here the details what we are passing are netbox url and the api token the netbox api token what we have seen earlier this token then the url this is going to be dcim slash devices once we hit that we'll be getting the device details and we'll try printing that output then we will see how we can use netbox module first we will try the standard api method and all these are from the uri module you can see here the details required for uri here the url is a mandatory field for uri and if you verify this output the devices output will give two outputs because in my inventory i have two devices r1 and r2 and here id 30 is r1 and id 31 is r2 Now let us try running this from the local machine. So to run that Ansible playbook and inside netbox folder, the first playbook it is connected to netbox using api.yaml. And I have received same output from netbox here this is how we can get the output using standard api method and here if you try getting device types here we have three device types veos then csr 1000 v and ios v we can verify that in netbox So device type we have three entries if you want to get device types we need to change it here now we have received output here we can see all the outputs netbox is really easy to explore and use you can even write your own python script to fetch or update data into netbox in the next video we will see how we can do some filtering in netbox inventory and how we can trigger some playbooks for example here we have some playbooks for getting the facts from cisco devices we'll see how we can do the filters how we can apply filters and get the devices accordingly for example here 
I have two devices. So R1 is having IP61, R2 is having 62. And we have different device roles. Based on device roles or manufacturer, how we can apply filter in our Ansible playbook and dynamically fetch the inventory. All these details we'll see in the next video. I hope this video was helpful for you to get an overview of uh, Netbox. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.